I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. Oh, you're grabbed by the function. Oh, yeah, right. we might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're funny, but not always a pass. It's a bit of a blustery, chilly day today, but uh, what better day to introduce you to the concept of uh, schedules of reinforcement. So uh, uh, the first thing we think about when we think about schedules of reinforcement is that we need to know what they are, right? So the basic idea being that we can deliver reinforcers for all sorts of things, and we can deliver them at all sorts of different times, but I think the best idea is to actually put them on a schedule. In fact, I mean, it's not my idea, it really. It's really not my idea to put them on a schedule. Skinner was playing around with this like in the, the long, long, long time ago. He wrote a great book called Schedules of Reinforcement. Mind you, I suggest you read it because we're gonna boil it down into just a few minutes here. But um, anyway, so as we get into schedules of reinforcement, I just want you to think about the different types of schedules that we have, all right? So the most basic schedule of reinforcement is one that goes awesomely with uh, uh, early reinforcement, which is a continuous reinforcement schedule, right? So by early reinforcement, I mean when you're teaching a response, um, the first thing you want to do is, you know, reinforce heavily, right, early on. Um, so the, the, we put that on a continuous reinforcement schedule, meaning we're going to reinforce every single time the response happens. It's kind of like taking these steps, right? So each time I put my foot down, it's getting reinforced. Um, that's a continuous reinforcement schedule. If some of these steps were false steps and they fell out from underneath me, that wouldn't be continuous, right? It would be horrifically scary, and I'm already scared enough as this is. Um, so, um, so continuous reinforcement, great for early training when you're teaching a new response, but it's, it doesn't do so good for response maintenance. So... When we think about, <laughs> it's not very large up here, all right? I'm not small. Um, so when we think about continuous reinforcement, we um, have an issue with what it does and the effect that it has, right? So sure, it's going to hook a behavior, all right? But what it's not going to do, folks, whoo, what it's not going to do, folks, is maintain one very well. So if I want to maintain, <laughs> If I want to maintain responses like that, I probably don't want to put them on continuous reinforcement schedules. I would probably want to put them on an intermittent schedule. Whew, chilly willies, all right? Um, so intermittent schedules are pretty cool, right? Uh, they're when you don't reinforce every single response that happens. This started out in a lab basically as an accident where Skinner was running out of um, pellets and he needed to make more pellets. Um, uh, but he, made, he needed to make his pellets last over the weekend in order to, uh, to reinforce the rats, and uh, he just decided to feed them every other time they engaged in the behavior. And what we saw using a cumulative recorder was that the rate of responding changed. And that rate of responding, when it changed, here's the serendipitous finding, right? Didn't anticipate that. Um, so that rate of responding changed, and boom! All of a sudden, we have an entire new subfield on with regard to reinforcement, which is the schedules of reinforcement. So. Um, Whoa! Ooh, this is wobbly. That's kind of fun. Um, I don't know why I'm actually on all these play around toys. They're just kind of fun. Um, so, so these schedules of reinforcement, uh, intermittent schedules, what, what we found is there's, there's four basic types. So we're, we're going to go into those in another video and the effects that those have. But those four basic types of reinforcers, or patterns of delivery of reinforcers, had completely different effects on behavior. Right? And those completely different effects on behavior have all sorts of things to do with how well the behavior maintains, how well that behavior generalizes, and how resistant to extinction that behavior is. So one of the things we think about with continuous reinforcement is the moment that you stop reinforcing somebody when they're on a continuous reinforcement schedule, that behavior is going to go away rather quickly. They probably know, it no, in quotes. Um, they, 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 the behavior is going to go away because it's no longer being reinforced, basically, right? Uh, so under intermittent schedules, that discrimination of when that behavior goes, or when the, when the behavior is no longer re being reinforced, um, decreases. Um, you, you can't discriminate very well when you're on those intermittent schedules, kind of. There's more to it, and we'll get into that. I'm just kind of fumbling through it a little bit here because I'm on playground equipment and whatever. Uh, but anyway, so... So when we think about real world applications, there's not too much that we're really getting into with, uh, with, with continuous schedules other than early type training scenarios where you're first training somebody in something, maybe a new sport, maybe a new job, um, maybe 
how to deliver lectures in the park. Um, hopefully there's lots of inter immediate continuous reinforcers for that. But on the other hand, you know, who knows? It doesn't really matter I, I, um, in terms of that uh, because the behavior of delivering lectures about um, self, about self-management, about behavior analysis in general have been intermittently reinforced heavily throughout the years. For example, um, yeah, I never know when a good lecture is going to happen. I don't know if the one that I'm delivering right now is going to come out great or if it's going to just come out with a big old steaming pile of dog poo. I have no idea. Um, so it's basically intermittently reinforced, and you all tend to do that down here and in one of those buttons. Sometimes people press the like button, which maybe it's reinforcing, maybe it's not. I don't know. Not everybody presses them, so I'm going to deliver these things anyway, whether or not you like it, which basically means it's on a really heavily intermittent schedule of reinforcement, and it's just going to continue. In other words, the behavior is going to maintain. So maintenance of behavior is what you're after. Maintenance of behavior is what you're after when you're thinking about um, intermittent schedules of reinforcement. And I, I don't know, we'll come back and talk about the four basics. You know, the, uh, the fixed ratios, the variable intervals, the variable ratios, and, and the fixed intervals. We'll talk about those on another video. See ya. Take care.